हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू मेक ए वेरी पेजिनेशन एग्जांपल इनसाइड योर एंगुलर नाइन एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज अ पेजिनेशन एग्जांपल दैट वी विल बी बिल्डिंग वी विल बी रिक्वेस्टिंग डेटा फ्रॉम द एपीआई एंड दीज आर द पेजिनेशन कंट्रोल्स यू कैन सी दैट इफ आई क्लिक द सेकंड पेज आई विल बी डिस्प्लेइंग द सेकंड पेज रिकॉर्ड्स आउट देयर यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम ईमेल एड्रेस एंड द प्रोफाइल पिक्चर आई एम गेटिंग ऑल दीज रिकॉर्ड्स फ्रॉम ए एपीआई व्हिच इज रैंडम यूजर डॉट मी सो दिस इज अ एपीआई व्हिच रिटर्न्स अ जेसन रिस्पांस टू मी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग दिस application so for the api as i let me just show you the api if you go to google and type here random user so this is a random user generator api that we are we are using here go to the documentation and uh, here i am using this endpoint that is requesting multiple users so this is the endpoint you can see that if you copy paste this endpoint in, inside your browser and let me just request 100 users like like this so it will return me a json response like this it will contain some properties gender name location city state all that stuff so now we will be displaying inside angular 9 application so this is my brand new angular 9 application guys so first of all we will be giving uh, going to the app.component.file here and here we will be writing a simple html file so this will be just give it a title of uh, angular 9 pagination example and uh, after that inside this we also need to import some bootstrap because we are using bootstrap so just go to bootstrap.cdn and copy the css link out there and make after the head here just make a link tag and in the href paste the css like this and now we will be having a simple button which will have this class of btn btn danger and the label will be get users and now if i refresh the application it will compile the application and uh, you can see that there is a button out there of get users and now in order to build this application we will require one dependency which is there which is uh, just go to your command line and execute this command which is npm install ngx dash pagination so basically this is a plugin that we will be using this is a node js library that we will be using ngx dash pagination i have already installed this library by executing this command after you execute this command you need to go to app.module.ts file and first of all you need to import this library so you will write here in this file ngx pagination this is a library and inside this library there is a module which is ngx pagination module just import that and also you need to import your http client module so basically this is a module http client module you need to import it from at the rate angular slash common slash http so after importing these two modules you also need to add it inside your imports array so we will first of all add http client module and then we will add the ngx pagination module so after adding these stuff you need to create a service which will send a http request so now inside this we will create a service by executing ng generate and uh, inside we will write here service we, because we need to generate a service and this service will be located inside services folder and this will be let me just first of all delete uh, the service which i have here let me just delete this services folder uh let me just delete it so now basically it will create a services folder here services slash random user so basically the name of the service is random user so you will see that it will create a folder called as services you can see that this it has created this folder and now inside this folder we need to create a simple http request to the api for that first of all we need to import the http client like this http this needs to be capital from and this needs to be imported from angular slash common slash http like this after importing this we need to go to the constructor of the service and we need to make a private variable of http which is of the type uh, http client so basically you can see that which is of the type http client and now basically we need to write the simple function which will return the data to us so basically get data we will call this function as and it will be returning a observable so just write here observable so it will import this observable from rxjs so it will be of the type any you need to write this and it will return this dot http and it contains a get method so basically you need to pass a url to this method and also just put 
this angular brackets and write any here so inside this we will be making a url so which will be a get request we will make this get request so basically we will copy paste the url let me just copy paste the url so this is a url guys and uh, i will paste this url like this and then i will pass url like this so basically it will this service will make a simple get request to this api and it will return the data as a observable now in order to catch this we will go to the app.component.ts file and first of all we need to import the service which is import random user service so basically it will import the service ra random user service from sla dot slash services slash random user file and now inside this we have to have our constructor and inside the constructor first of all we will get the service by random user which is of the type random user service and we will cl close the constructor like this and first of all we also need to have some variables the data which will be coming here from the api which will be of the type array which will just write in angular brackets any and the total records for the pagination will be a number like this and the current page number so the current page number will be of the type number and is it it will be equal to one so the default value will be one like this and inside the constructor we also need to initialize our array like this so this dot data is equal to new array and like this we need, just need to write this so basically it will initialize our array inside this constructor so now we just need to call our uh, uh, service which will be first of all we need to bind a simple method here which is uh, uh, inside this button we need to bind a on click so when we click this button we will uh, make this uh, get users function so inside our app.component.ts file sorry app.component.ts file we will make this function which is get users so when we click this button we will make this service here so why it is showing error here oh sorry it it expects a uh, i think that the, we have declared something wrong here let me just check here guys just wait uh, i think i have made a mistake oh sorry 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 this needs angular brackets need to come just before that like this so now it will not create error so when we click this button this function will execute and now basically we need to uh, get the service which is there inside random user and it contains a method which is get data we need to subscribe to this method so dot subscribe so basically it will return the data to us inside this data and now basically we can just console log the data just to check if it is returning the data or not so basically if i refresh the application and check here so it is compiled successfully and uh, this is my application if i right click inspect element and uh, just go to console here and get users so basically it will return me the results array here you can see that results is the array so now basically we need to initialize it to the data array that we have inside our application so this dot data is equal to data dot results like this and for the total records this dot total records we can just have the length of the array which is data dot results dot length so basically it will be uh, storing the length of the array inside total records this will be useful for pagination and now the app.component.ts file is complete now we just need to uh, have our html so inside the html guys we will have a simple table which will have a table class and table striped which is a bootstrap class like this and inside this we will have uh, the table header table head cla class and inside this a table row table heading will be name of the person first of all gender we will print the gender like this gender next will be name and the next one will be email and the next heading will be picture and this table head is complete now and just after this we will have the table body and inside the table body we will use a for loop 
so basically we will use the ng for loop so basically I can just copy paste the code here this uh, is the code here we need to this is a pagination code here we just need to make some slight modifications inside this so inside this table row we will use the ng for loop ng for is equal to and then we will copy paste it so basically we are using the data here not employee so we will loop through data here and let me just initialize it to user not employee and we need to paginate it so just put uh, this symbol here and then paginate and you can just provide it a id i am providing it as listing pagination comma items per page so item per page we are displaying 10 items per page you can just manipulate this value and the current page will be equal to the current page that we have defined inside our uh, app dot component you can see that this is a page number which is equal to one so the default value is one and the next entry is the total items so total items is uh, total records so basically if i show you this is our total records variable so we are just initializing it to, to total records which are there inside the app dot component dot ts file and now we just need to have our table data so which first of all we need to print the the gender so we will just write user dot gender and next we just need to print out uh, user dot name dot first so this will print out the name of the person and then we need to print out the profile picture which is located in user dot picture user dot picture dot medium so it will be so now we just need to surround it inside the image tag so image source so inside the source here we can just write user dot uh, picture dot medium so basically it will be displaying the picture of the person and lastly there is the email also so just before that we also need to print out email address so which is user dot email that's it so you need to surround this inside double curly brackets just to signifying that we are inserting dynamic values so now I think that the application is complete so after that you just need to declare this pagination also module which will be actually be paginating the data so just after the table here you just need to paste this inside a div we are using this pagination controls directive and we are providing an ID that we have declared inside this listing pagination and max size we are here 5 direction links true page change to just write this statement here so this will be useful for paginating the data so now basically if I refresh the application so it is saying that total let me just change this to string here so now it has compiled successfully if I click get users so now you will see that it will be getting the users and this is your pagination so if I loop through it if I click the next pages you will get the data here like this the problem was that th with these total records I have changed this type from number to string here and now you will see that it is working but the user email is not printing out let me just see here the email address is uh, this is there inside user dot email so it, it should print so if I go to app dot component Oh sorry I have missed this curly bracket so now basically if I refresh it so it will also print out the email address so in this way you can just loop through the data inside a pagination module inside angular 9 with the help of ngx pagination module so thanks very much for watching this video